Saturday, Kids Film Lounge celebrate Children's Cinema. Be inspired by the Children's Film Foundation. Saturday morning pictures. Was anarchy. Saturday morning pictures was a kind of unbelievably healthy anarchy. Enjoy original films and premieres like The Tricycle Thief. Come on, let's show it to the children. They're really the people we're making the films for. Kids Film Lounge, Saturday morning from May the 2nd. Now's the time for ice cream. Now, now, now. Now's the time for ice cream. Now, now, now. Cool, cool ice cream. Now's the time for ice cream. And a super center with a toffee taste. Top and Jock Sunday. On sale now. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby. Once upon a time, not so long ago, kids ruled Saturday cinema and the Children's Film Foundation was king. Over four eventful decades, the CFF made over 200 movies for kids, starring kids, uncovering talents, telling original tales, and all on very, very low budgets. In British films and serials, Crooks, Spivs and Common were regularly foiled by plucky young ones in films watched by millions on cinema screens across the land. From the weird, to the wonderful, sometimes surprising, sometimes silly, but always the Children's Film Foundation. There have been children's Saturday matinees since the 1920s. Films were usually American made and American owned. After the end of the Second World War, Britain began rebuilding and rethinking its relationship with the world and its own people. Many had concerns about Hollywood's growing influence on children and youth culture. Movie mogul and cinema owner Lord Rank wanted homemade, affordable, quality films for children. Well, we had uh, uh, about 400,000 children, or just over, in our cinema clubs on a Saturday morning, and I wanted to give them the very best uh, entertainment that I could. In 1951, the Children's Film Foundation was established, not for profit, to make films for children that would encourage their cinematic experience. The E.D. Levy government tax on ticket prices funded their first annual budget of just £60,000. Money and time was tight. Films were shot fast, about four weeks, even a fortnight. Completed, they were just under an hour. Oh, stupid animal. About 55 minutes of fun. So we made the film and uh, show it to the children. They're really the people we're making the films for. And so we, uh, we did that at the next Saturday morning at one of the clubs in their ordinary performance. And they, they liked it tremendously. They sat uh, concentrated on the story the whole time and they enjoyed it very much. Generally like a mystery or a cowboy. Mystery or cowboy? What about love stories? Don't like them. Why not? Don't know. I just don't like them. Which film do you like best? I like all of them. You like all of them? <laughs> <laughs> do you like cinema that much? 
cowboy films when there's a lot of love in it. They don't like that at all. They don't like love? Well, what no. about you? Well, I don't like it much either. You don't? Why not? Well, they, it's not natural when they have it on the films. They overemphasize it, and it's not natural at all. Oh, I see. What do you like best in the films? Well, I like, adventure, I like adventure stories best. Uh -huh. um, the ones with the children in. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I was... Take the car around the corner, Grandpa. They like action. They like practical, common-sense action. And we do have violence, because all children are violent. We have plenty of roughs and tumbles and fights and excitement, but we don't have vicious violence. You heard what my son said. Hop it! Hang on, boy. In this post-war world, children were in charge. A land of traffic-free roads. Adults in the background, Kids in the foreground, free to roam through war-damaged landscapes. Most films were set in London for cost and stage scores. With restrictions on working with children, approved organisations were used, rather than search for and train raw candidates. Time was valuable and a fast-growing child might ruin a serial. A little deeper now, a little icier, much more enthusiasm. Yes. Will you go away and, and do it amongst yourselves, and then we'll yes. shoot it very soon. Oh, Good, yes. and mm -hmm. think. Do you find there's a great difference in directing children for these films as against directing grown-ups? Uh, not as far as I'm concerned, no. To me, uh, it's filmmaking, and I treat them as professionals. I try not to patronize them. I certainly never treat it as a game. These pictures run about how long, roughly speaking, John? Uh, round about an hour. How yes. much of a budget do you get to work on? Oh. <laughs> very low, £17,000. That's less than $50,000. Well, it's very little. Well, on such a limited budget, you must exercise a great deal of ingenuity. Yes, we have to. We don't wait for the sun, as you can see. When I get back, we'll have a quick lunch and go to the pictures. All right? Bye, love. Young actors gave remarkable performances, like the 1950s child star Mandy Miller. These were tales of their time, with children showing initiative, taking an action to right a wrong. Dear Mum, I have gone with Mrs Harris to make some money for a new dog because I am sorry I knocked him over. Love, Jenny. Paddock's over that way. Well, could one have got out? Of course not. Come on. Are they dangerous? They'd attack anyone on foot. Over four decades, they helped launch many careers like David Hemmings, Susan George, Olivia Hussey, Phil Collins, Michael Crawford. Ram, ram. Ram, Ready, ram. Jippy? All set, go ahead. Come on, Sticky, you can eat that later. Okay. And Dennis Waterman. Funny who you might bump into, like Fraser Hines of Doctor Who and Emmerdale Farm Fame. Down in Sherwood Forest, a cheeky young Robin Hood. Oh, for shame, John, you spoil a good target. Well, how else could I have scored? Like this. It's Robin's turn, it's Robin's 
turn. Keith Chegwin. <laughs> or creeping about this old house. Come on, I know you're here. Spandau Ballet's Gary Kemp. Plenty of new and old faces on screen. Graham Stark, David Lodge, John Bluthal, Alfred Marks, Doctor Who, Patrick Troughton. Don't worry, I should be returning you to the present almost before you realise that you've been away. The reliably remarkable Roy Kinnear. Or roguish Robin Asquith. Wilfred Bramble, perfecting his soon-to-be-seen Stepto style. And comedy legends, Terry Scott and Ronnie Barker. The performers, like Bernard Pibbins, kept coming back for more. I don't think I like it. I don't think that matters. Here they come. Open up. The puzzle right behind right. us. Come on, come on, you. Behind the camera, new talent learnt their trade. There's the early work of Witchfinder General and Straw Dogs cameraman John Crockion and acclaimed editor John Bloom. Experienced filmmakers like the son of H.G. Wells, producer and writer Frank Wells, entertained and inspired kids and future filmmakers too. Movies like E.T. perhaps. He's thinking about his home. It's millions of miles away on the planet Venus. Yes, that's right, Meba comes from Venus. When the little inhabitants of Venus are very young, like Meba, they're taught to turn into flying saucers. Meba wasn't very good at it at first. He tried and tried and tried, until at last it suddenly happened. Meba was so pleased with himself that he just flew and flew, having such a wonderful time that he quite lost himself. From far out fantasy, to powerful dramas like Johnny on the Run, a remarkable runaway refugee story directed by Lewis Gilbert, the celebrated Alfie educating Rita and Bond film director. Beautifully crafted and acted. Just one of the many movies that compare with the very best of world cinema. You wicked, wicked boy. With an incredible range of tales, not just crowd-pleasing serials, it's easy to overlook their dramatic achievements. The films were varied, original and always entertaining. They had to be. At their peak, there are around 2,000 Saturday matinees every week. Over half showing CFF productions and serials. I hope you don't mind me dropping in like this. On Saturday, children ran the show, outnumbering cinema employees. Parents knew their little ones were in safe hands. That's the attitude of most parents, and it's the policy that ABC adopt too, with their Saturday minors matinees. Just look at those happy faces. They're certainly going to enjoy the fun while their parents get on with the Saturday shopping. Being not-for-profit, 
The low ticket prices of six pence, which is about two and a half p, kept it affordable with enough left to spend elsewhere. Did we tell you? Nothing's too good for the youngsters at the ABC Miners Matinee at this cinema and most other ABC cinemas every Saturday. All youngsters thoroughly enjoy the films, the fun, and the good fellowship. This clip captures the Saturday cinema experience. The money raised was reinvested into more ambitious productions. The thrills and spills of Australian surfboat racing. And not just filmed in Britain. That's a lot of money for a young man to be carrying. If you've got all that money to spend, you ought to buy something useful. Like a camel. Don't look so surprised. The films became more inventive. They could be dangerous. Michael Crawford here, road testing Frank Spencer. They might be a cinematic swan song for filmmaking masters like Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. They might get creepy and Victorian. Alice. Oh. Uh, are you from Tower House? No, not from there. I've come to warn you. Don't go to Tower House. What? Go back. Where you came from. Now. What do you mean? Who are you? Who are you? Let's just say I'm the man from nowhere. They'd address the dark history of Britain's past. And in 1977, when Hollywood had Star Wars, the CFF had Glitterball. the CFF was flying high with much loved, fondly remembered stories. And now's that chance! They had almost superhuman powers, like Sammy's.
You too can have super strength. The CFF grew and moved with the times. From a black and white past okay. to an edgier urban present. Hold it, there's someone coming. Out! Get out! The window's open a bleeding window! The CFF rivaled and outlived Ealing Studios, Hammer Films, and carried on past Carry On. It faced the challenge of the small screen and Saturday morning TV shows like Tiz Was. Saturday, Saturday is Tiz Was Day. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday is Tiz Was. Never a day to miss, cause Saturday is Tiz Was Day. With the closure of picture houses, the recession of UK film, bigger Hollywood blockbusters, lower attendances, and then in 1985, Prime Minister Thatcher stepped in. The government reassessed the CFF. It said the ED levy had failed. Production ended. The CFF is gone, but not forgotten. And today, as we find ourselves looking back to discover what Britain is and what Britain could be, we should remember a post-war world that looked forward with vision to the future. So raise a strawberry mivy to a time when the young could be brave and free and cheats and scoundrels got what they deserved. Back then, the kids really were all right.
we come along on Saturday morning, greeting everybody with a smile. We come along on Saturday morning, knowing it's well worthwhile. As members of the GP club, we all intend to be Good citizens when we grow up and champions of the free We come along on Saturday morning Greeting everybody with a smile Smile, smile Greeting everybody with a smile